Babe, 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 huh? babe, guess what? What? I'm done working. You're done working. Ah. You're done now. Now you get me all week. <laughs> no? Okay. It's gonna be great. I'm always afraid that I left a window open like every time. Da, 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 da. Banana, Banana bungee. bungee. That was so great. <laughs> So, today is Steph's last shift. It's her last day at the hospital. We are hitting the road Sunday. We are going to Indiana. Don't know where all we're going along the way. Um, she apparently didn't have the best day today. So, definitely ending it on a negative note. But, I'm gonna try to cheer her up a little bit. We're gonna go get some pizza. And maybe sit outside on the patio, which has been probably like our favorite thing to do at the RV park is just sitting on the patio. Baby! Snoopy! Did you have a bad last day? I'm done! <laughs> oh, oh, good night. Callie's here to save you. Callie, save me. That was a day. <laughs> Didn't they know it was my last day? Didn't they know it was supposed to be a good day? Hey. Oh. Hey. Huh? I ordered pizza. What? Uh, oh, thank you, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You want to go pick up some Yes. Pizza? Oh, pfft. <laughs> Too much kiss. <laughs> I'm done working. So, what's that mean? Um, so that means we're hitting the road. Hitting the road. Two weeks on the road-ish. We don't really have a plan. As per usual, <laughs> we don't really have a plan. Uh, maybe but ten days. Ten days? Ten days, maybe. I don't know. It just depends on how long it takes. But the plan is to leave tomorrow, right? Yes. We know that much. And we're heading north-ish, north, northeast-ish? We're hoping to stay in Oregon Ish. tomorrow night. Somewhere. Somewhere. As per usual, no plan. But that means today we have a lot of stuff to do. Mm -hmm. It's prepping time. Mm -hmm. Don't mind the blankets. Uh, it's been over 100 degrees every day this week. And so we're doing everything we can to keep the camper a little cooler. <gasps> you know what I just realized? What? We live in a blanket fort. <laughs> <laughs> it's every kid's dream come true. Uh -huh. Own a camper, live in a camper, and you can live in a blanket fort full time. Lots to do today. Let's do it. Can go for a walk? Yeah? Okay, let's get your harness. Let's get your harness. Get your harness on. Hey, this might be our last California fill up. Please. Please. Mike let me go to Sam's Club. He never does that. I love buying in bulk. You save so much money. But we live in a camper. Camper Fridge Tetris. My favorite and least favorite game at the same time. I don't got this. <laughs> I don't. One of our biggest fridge and freezer hacks is when it's down to just a part container of something, trim it down. So our egg cartons, if we are running out of room in the fridge, we can trim down the egg cartons, make them shorter. Life hack, RV life hack. So we went from this at this and now I just have to find room for this. It's laundry time! So Mike really has all the important jobs. I just don't tell him that. I do the inside of the camper generally and it's pretty quick, pretty easy, especially if we've been responsible and kept it kind of tidy. 
but I also spend a fair amount of time prepping road trip snacks. Very important for road trips are the snacks. So one of the most important things that you gotta remember is to check your tire pressure, especially on your trailer. I have a very simple tire pressure gauge here. But make sure you do that before you leave because travel trailers are infamous for popping tires. It's one thing that I've implemented into every time that we move, if we've been sitting for a while especially, I make sure I check my tire pressure. Guess what I found? What we have you? windows! Whoa. <laughs> I took down the blankets and there's windows here. Who'd have thunk it? I uh, forgot our camper had windows. Has that AC turned off like the past week? No. <laughs> Valid point. But look! Vistas! Views of other campers! Oh yeah, such a beautiful view. So one thing I definitely need to do is get the fresh water tank emptied so I can put fresh, fresh water in it. So I gotta do that real quick. It's been sitting since we got here in February or March. So all that water needs to come out. There might be a lot more in there than I thought. Oh, I got a tail whack. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! Oh, it says it's empty. Yeah. All right. We'll go put probably, I guess, two thirds of a tank. Don't you think? Sure. So on this grand design, it actually has a switch right here. You can just switch it over to fill your tank. Or there's a gravity fill on the other side. But since I have it hooked up to city water already, I can just flip it over and fill it up here. Make sure I hear it filling. I'm filling! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, tomorrow's the, tomorrow's the big day. It feels like we're kind of building us up a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> I think we're just coming to terms with it. Yeah, this is more us building it up, I guess, for ourselves and you guys. So we haven't moved in three months. Three months. Three months. So. I think we forget that sometimes that this is home. Like this has been our home for three months. I'm excited for the next step. It's sometimes hard when you move often, and for some people three months isn't that often, and for some people three months is like, holy cow, how do you move that often? But it's sometimes it's hard to focus on where you're at in that moment. And I think for the last week or so, we've been so excited about the upcoming trip, we forgot that we're leaving home. Like we're leaving this place that we've really fallen into and gotten very comfortable with. It does feel like home everywhere that we go and spend you know a good amount of time it ends up being we missed something about it yeah and really we we went to vacaville this morning uh, we were gonna just do breakfast and kind of walk around mm -hmm. and it turns out that the farmer's market that we talked about last week that we've intended to go to the entire time we've lived here was going on and we're like oh okay yeah so it's just that little sense of community and we end up not really thinking about how much we end up enjoying a place. We're kind of looking forward to the next spot, you know? But then we left town. I left town this morning and it was kind of like, yeah, oh. it just feels weird. Oh, we're not coming back here. Oh. Our normal breakdown routine, if we've not stayed someplace very long, is really pretty straightforward. We say that and then <laughs> we do it once every three months and we're, we're like, like, oh yeah, I forgot I don't about know that what step. To do. So, we don't have a guide to setting up and breaking down. Maybe we should work on that. Well, maybe, maybe. Maybe if nothing else, just for ourselves. Yeah. Checklist. A breakdown and setup checklist for there your you camper. I think that would if be If you guys are interested handy. in that, let us know because we've done this several times. And 
we still forget stuff. Yeah, we still forget stuff. I was like thinking, I'm like, I'm sure there's incidents where we've done something bad because we've oh, forgotten man. the one thing we're supposed to do. Oh, one time <laughs> I was leaving her parents and I forgot to unplug the shoreline. That's happened before. Yeah, so hopefully everything goes according to plan tomorrow. What plan? The plan is to leave. <laughs> Now that will hopefully happen. At what time? No idea. Where are we going? Uh, kind of an idea. So catch us next week hopefully. Uh, figure out how things go tomorrow. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing. Following along with our little adventure. We'll see you guys next week. Ready go? Huh? Oh, oh good time. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Why is this your thing? Okay, <laughs> this is what happened in the last one. Alright. <laughs>